As I said in my last video, I wanna do some broad bolt fletching meanwhile doing Slayer and I just spent like 1.5 million on all these broad bolts, but I actually need more money because I need like 32,000 of them to get from 73 to 80. So I'm going to do some clue scrolls now to get some Alex and so I can buy all the way to like 32,000 of them and then get the 32,000 feathers as well. I had a master scroll box in my bank and uh, you can actually talk to Watson and turn it into teleport. So just did that real quick. Just randomly here on a hard clue scroll, completed 8 on my 9th and I'm about to get 99 ranged on this wizard. Easy 250 points, I won't claim them just yet because I want to do a big claim in the end of this video. But yeah, 99. Had to do some AFKing on my phone, so did fishing, it went all the way from 66 to 78 and 41 agility all the way to 53. So sometime in the future I am going to go back and get 80 fishing for the 100 points and maybe 60 agility as well I guess with it. Right, let's get 20 of these open. Hopefully I can get some decent money in Alks from this. This is the main reason to why I did it. Also I think I miss a god body. So you can see I'm rocking the black dehyde body. First one, master clue. Pretty nice, can do that later. That is just terrible for everything. Another master, two already, that's really fast. Um, Decent Alkyballs, another blessing, don't really need it. Decent Alkyballs, let's bank. Round two, let's see what we can get with 14 left. Some Alkyballs and Nature Runes, more Alkyballs. I'm going to have so many purple sweets at the end of this. Red Dragon Mask, some Fashion Scape and also blue Dehyde Body T. Oh, there we go, Bandos Dehyde, perfect. Now I have the full God Dehydes for the prayer bonus. Looking pretty nice, let's uh, keep going. <laughs> Bandos Dehyde Body back to back. That's also 50 hard clues, by the way, for our task, so that's uh, one of the reasons I wanted to do as well. Okay, last seven. I'm dropping the pages, by the way, because you don't really need them for anything. That's a lot of law runes. Great. Another master, so I'm going to have three masters I can do. Ancient Ketchup, actually, that's a unique. I didn't have a god shield, actually. Uh, some more Alkyballs runes, plate scar G. And even more Alkyballs, good runes as well. More Alkyballs, and yeah, that's it. Definitely got enough money to get all the broad arrows that I need now, or broad bolts rather, so I'm going to buy all of them until I have like 32,000 roughly. Perfect, there we go. I have 500k cash left and 32,000 of the feathers and the broad bolts, so let's get Slayer and get some fletching as well. I've actually got two genies in one day. I always put it on herb lore and the experience is just nuts. Look at this, 5.3k free herb lore experience. Extremely close to 80 Slayer, so I'm just going to do a quick Anku task to get some points for that, the League task, and also just get 80 so I can do a Necreal after. 80 Slayer achieved, and also I'm getting some attack levels here, so I'm going to finish the task obviously, and I will probably get to like 65 attack. I don't have that many Prey Potions, and I don't think you can actually save spot Necreals, but I'm still going to do the task with ranged, and I'm going to use the ones I have. As I had three master clues from doing all those hard clues, I thought I would just complete them real quick. So let's see what the rewards are going to be. I don't know how many I've already done, and I don't think I will hit 10 total, but we will see. First one, pretty generic. I've done five, okay, so I will end up at seven after this, which is not too bad. Okay, I actually need this runner, so I'm running low on uh, prey potions. The second one, Samurai page, even more Raynars, perfect. Uh, and the last one is... Oh, even more Raynars, perfect. Let's make like, how many is this? 24 prayer potions. So I hit 55 herb lore from 54 on these prayer potions and I now have 31 3 dose, which I will turn into 4 dose, and that will definitely be enough for my Necreal task, which is really, really sweet that I got that. Actually really lucky, yeah. <laughs> it was a good thing I did the Master Clues. Also, I did actually do quite a lot of wood cutting. I did from 64, I think, to 73 wood cutting. Turned all the oak logs that I cut into planks, uh, as I will be going for 99 construction in the future. And I have 1.7k of the oak planks and 76 mahogany planks. Had some mahogany logs in the bank that I tried cutting before, but uh, that's some free fast experience right there. But it's way too expensive to do mahogany planks, I think. There we have the room boots with only 30 necreals left. Very nice, that is going to be the best boots pretty much I can wear in melee when I get my abyssal whip and I'm going to be grinding for all the melee 99s. So very nice to get them at the end of the task. First necreal task completed and you can look at my cash stack. It's 479k from all the alkyballs which is just insane and also I get some points for completing the task. Let's open the two brimstone keys that I got from the necreal task. Let's see, first loot, rubies, really good for crafting as I said and some iron ore for smithing. Now that I have 55 herb lore, I can actually make super strengths, so I'm going to make a few of them and do a bit of melee on my Bloodville task just to get that 70 attack. 
in the fletching passively through slaying is coming through at 80 fletching. So that's going to be 100 league points when I do claim all of the points. Actually my first ever superior on the league and let's see how much experience it's going to give me. I'm 12% slayer experience right now and let's see how much I will get after I kill it. If I can actually hit this once and not hit zeros. Yeah. Can I just get one hit please? Okay, there. are you kidding me? 4 HP left. Okay, 2 HP left. So from 12% to 28%, I think it was a 41,000 experience drop. I'm going to look forward to getting superiors on like Abyssal Demons and stuff. That's going to be just insane experience. Now that I'm fairly close to Abyssal Demons, I thought I would do a Banshee task because they give so many Raynars and I need the prayer potions to be able to kill them. You can see I have 23 million range experience almost and I got 8 Raynars this task and I have three, 5 Brimstone Keys as well which is going to be nice to open. So I'm just going to quickly with the points I have unlock the Lizardmans. I'm not going to actually do a Lizardman task right now but I want to in the future if I'm going to hunt for the Dragon Warhammer. There's nothing else really I want to use the points for and I'm going to get another Bloodwell task for 85. So this is what I've been grinding the entire video. 85 Slayer after this Banshee. I went here actually as my last Slayer assignment before Abyssal Demons to get more Raynars. So get Prayer Potions for the Abyssal Demons. That is 85 Slayer and just to put in perspective how much experience I have gained in ranged. I got 25 million ranged experience and in the beginning of this video I got 99. So that's like 12 million ranged experience just from all the slaying I've done to get 85. So I'm going to cancel these 100 and then I'm going to get an Abyssal Demon task and I am also going to open these 5 Brimstone Keys and also before I do the Abyssal Demons I'm going to use all the Ensold Heads I have to get as high prayer as possible. So let's first uh, remove my current assignment, cancel the Banshee task and let's talk to Konar and get that Abyssal Demon task. 145, pretty nice. Let's get five brimstone chests open as well. Raw sea turtle, are you? I've actually never seen that. I didn't even know you could get that from the chest. Uh, some coal and iron, pretty good for steel bars. And the last one. Dude, oh, I thought I got even more raw sea turtles, but I actually got coins. So that's not too bad, but 70k is pretty much on the low end on the coins. And I'm just going to show you guys how many unsold heads I have in my bank. Keep in mind, pretty much every single Ensold Head for the Blood Veldts gives 20,000 prayer experience. And I have 62 and 19 Ensold Giant Heads. So I am currently 64 prayer. Let's use all of them and see where we end up. Okay, so I used all the heads except like 9 Giant Heads or something. And I don't want to do an entire run just for those. But after using all the Blood Veld Ensold Heads and pretty much all the Giant Heads... I am now 79 prayer, so I just need one more level for that 80, but with the stuff that I have in the bank currently, I can just barely not reach it. So I'm actually going to claim all the points right now that I have collected. I am at 5000 points in total, and time to claim and see where I end up. Almost at 6000, so that was almost a thousand points for that. So when I get my 80 prayer, that will be enough for 6k points. So as I don't know how long this grind is going to take, I am going to end the video right here. So if you did like it, please leave a like. And if you want to see when I post the future video, when I have my whip, then make sure to subscribe. Also, I just want to say thanks to all the people who recently started watching my videos. It really means a lot. And also in my last video, I mentioned that the art for my YouTube channel was, or the profile picture I have, was made by my girlfriend. And I asked you guys if you wanted to check out her other art and stuff like that. It will be in the comments, but the comment actually bugged. So it is there now, but I'm also going to post it in this video just uh, to make sure that people who were interested could actually see it. But the reason why it was bugged was because I made the comment before the video was actually up. And so it didn't count and it didn't show for the people who was watching the video. But now it will be there in the description. But yeah, I'm not going to <laughs> keep talking now. As I said, if you did like the video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content, then subscribe. And uh, let's get that whip in the next video.